So my friends, we've come here to uh, to, to compart to you the uh, the message of eternal life of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ came into the world to save sinners, right? That's why he came. He didn't come to save the self-righteous. You gonna do a selfie here? Big selfie? No, I'm, somebody flick us up. Be sure and get the sign. Hayden, Hayden, I need you. Hey, All right, come on, everybody smile. There you go. <laughs> Say gospel. <laughs> nice, nice. Oh, oh and, don't, and don't, don't go sharing that on Facebook or nothing like that. Yeah, don't do that, man. What's up with that? Okay, yeah. Hey, so we're having a little fun here, but a very, a very serious topic. Um, and just a note that. We're not here to protest the game or anything. I love football. It's great. My dad was uh, an MB, MVP back in 1941. Why well, the hate, sir? Uh, so we don't hate you. But my dad was a uh, an MVP for that other that other team, OSU, Go Beavers, right? Um, back in 1941. So love football. Um, so we're here to tell you about Jesus Christ and His salvation he provides for you my friends from sin death and hell and yes sir everyone is going to go home in the sense they're going to go where they belong whether that will be to hell or to heaven <clears throat> and i hope it, that y'all will end up in heaven and not hell that would be wondrous and just amazing but the thing is you have to repent you have to turn from your sins my friend you have to turn from your sins, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. That's what repentance is, changing your mind, changing your direction, changing your behavior, and turning to the living God through Jesus Christ and His sacrifice on the cross. Jesus came into this world to save sinners, right? The Bible says that's a true and faithful saying, that He came to save sinners, from the wrath of God. And that's good news, right? Because you don't want to end up in hell. It's a lake of fire. It's the, the second death. You love your sin, right? Yeah, you love that you're saying you love hating people, right? Well the Bible the Bible says that you would say that. The Bible says that you you love your sin. You're an enemy of God through wicked works in your mind. And I was an enemy of God too, but God saved me from my sins. And God can, God can save you too. God can save you too. And and I hope this gospel, I hope this gospel doesn't hit you like water on a duck and will go off its back, because water goes right off a duck's back. I hope that it sinks in. I hope the gospel that God uses that gospel to sink into your heart and mind and soul and you would be saved on the day of judgment. But only God can do that. I'm just here to warn you of the wrath to come that you must repent. God is warning everyone. God is calling everyone. He's commanding everyone to repent. Everyone, everywhere, no exception. So repentance from sin. Turn from your sins. Turn to the living God in repentance and faith. Stop loving your sin. Start hating your sin. Turn to Christ and live, my friends. And I realize, I get that, that you love your sin. I loved my sin before I was a Christian, too. There's nothing nothing different about me. Hey, enjoy the game, by the way. We're not here protesting the game. Just here to say, to point you in the right direction, which is to get on the winning team of Jesus Christ. And his salvation. So, you need on to be on the team of Jesus Christ to receive that gospel, like the uh, like the uh, the receiver. Oh, you can get drunk all you want. You just end up in hell. Well, I don't want you that. Jesus Christ is blood. Well, Jesus didn't pay for it. If you're going to continually live in sin, sir, you have to repent. You must repent of your sins, right? Because God will not accept you unless you repent. And it's not a matter of accepting Jesus. It's a matter of Jesus accepting you 
into his kingdom and he will not do that unless you repent and believe on oh i think i got one earlier yeah, I don't yeah. Believe thank you jesus wants to have it well you can set it down there that's fine yeah thank you sir hey enjoy the game i like that beard too i, I had a red beard when i was younger yeah 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 it looks red to me what do they say about jesus no souls what no souls no coals no souls oh oh no 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 i think it's a myth it's also bad luck to be superstitious, right? That's what they say. I mean, so, yeah, we're having a little fun today. Not protesting uh, football, not protesting the Ducks. Even though I am a Beavers fan, I got to say. Sorry about that. But we are here to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ that you might have everlasting life. Everlasting life can be had through Jesus Christ. His salvation from sin, death, and hell into God's glorious heaven. That's why we're out here on a day. We could be doing yard work or, or uh, enjoying a movie or eating pizza or whatever we're, we could be doing. But we love you to come out here. Love you enough to come out here, even those like you, young lady, who are hating on us. Um, we love you enough to come tell you the truth of the gospel. Yes, yes, sir. Yes. Jesus died to save sinners. That's true. And you can shake your head all you want. You can mock God all you want. And you can hate people all you want. Why the hate? Why, why, why the hate? I, I want to know why the hate. But yeah, you notice that people... You notice that people pick out their pet sins, the ones that they love the most. They'll look at that sign and say, oh yeah, I love abortion or I love fornication or I love porn or whatever it would be or LGBTQ or, or the sin of trans. That's where it's a mental condition where you're mentally uh, ill and you may even have a demon if you believe yourself to be a, a woman when you're a man. I hope you have a good time at the game. Nothing wrong with that. And, uh, you know, football is not necessarily an idol. It could be an idol, though. But if ask yourself this. If something happened to football today, would you be mad at God? If that's true, then, bing, there it is. Football is an idol for you. I like football. Nothing wrong with it. Yeah. I'm not going to say go duck because I'm a Beavers fan, but hey, I might give you a little encouragement today, mostly to have fun, have fun and... Uh